Hi everybody, I'm Andy Rent, and we're at the Sundance Grill in downtown Grand Rapids. It's a venerable spot for years, and of course in Cascade, don't forget on 28th Street. But I have Danielle, bartender here, and we thought since it's art prize, then we need the art of the cocktail. We have the art of, 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 of sculpture, the art of painting, the art of, of whatever, the art of music. But how about the art of the cocktail? So Danielle, you've been doing this for a while now, yes, right? Yes, I have. Okay. All right, so we picked, she has picked four cocktails that we thought not only are delicious, but also look good, because it has to look good to taste good, right? Correct. All right, so let's talk about what you're going to make today. All right, so first we're going to start out with a strawberry lemon sangria. A strawberry lemon sangria. Strawberry lemon sangria. We're going to go ahead and do two lemons first. Okay, all right. And by the way, you can do this at home. Yes, <laughs> Instead you of saying, Very kids, simple, don't do this easy. at home. Yeah, you can do you this do at home. You do need a muddler, which you can find anywhere. Okay. So you're going to muddle, muddle your two strawberries. That's when you smash it down. Yeah, so yeah. two strawberries okay. and your lemon. All right. So you're gonna now, why are you muddling? Basically, this creates a uh, very simple and light start to the drink, so it's going to give it a little bit of a lemon flavor and a strawberry flavor. When you're muddling something, it's going to open up and it's, you know, it's If you just set it in the there, it's not going to absorb it. It creates kind of a, a syrup at the same time. Correct. Okay. So she's muddling lemon and strawberries. Right. So that's good for right now. Okay. Then, and gonna... then we're going to do an ounce and a half of Bacardi. Okay. Bacardi rum. Of our house chardonnay. Okay. You can use any chardonnay. Their house chardonnay is really good. Wherever it's from. And then we're gonna grab some ice. Okay. You gotta have some ice. So so far, this is what it's looking like. That's gonna get better. Yes. Let me add a little bit of ice. Okay. Okay. And then we're gonna top it off with Lemonade. Yes. We're going to garnish it with the strawberry okay. and the lemon to kind of finish it off. And the straw. So here we have. Look at that. Is that looking good? Now, part, Danielle, part of a bartender is getting all the prep work done too. Correct, so yes. You stand here a long time before anybody's in. Yeah. And you're, it's not like I have sliced strawberries in my refrigerator. <laughs> so so you're prepping a lot of stuff so you can ready to go and someone orders this and you've got it. Yes. All right, there you go. Yes. All right, that's the strawberry sangria. Yes, it is. There you go. See, that's, that looks like a piece Very of art, popular. doesn't it? It's pretty. The lemon, the strawberry really stands out. Well, the true test is... <laughs> really good. Good? Yeah, that's great. Can you taste the strawberry and the lemon from uh, muddling it? I can. Right. Yeah. And it, you wouldn't, I don't think, unless you muddled it. Right, you correct. Get. Right. Did you put that in my car, please? <laughs> all right, all right, I'll what's next? <laughs> yeah, can I have a to-go cup? <laughs> next, we're going to make a Michigan Mule. A Michigan a Mule. A Michigan Mule, okay. yes. So you got this, this so is, are you going to serve it in this? Yes, yep. Okay. We serve all of our Moscow mules in a copper tip. Okay. First you're going to squeeze a lime. Okay. Add some ice. She's so dainty when she's doing the ice. You notice that? <laughs> she's just like taking it, hates to hurt the ice. <laughs> and we actually are going to use a Michigan vodka. Okay. I'm up for that Michigan vodka, which is yeah. back there. Right. right here, we have a uh, Michigan civilized micro <coughs> vodka. And that is an ounce and a half of the vodka. And notice, she knows the pour. Yes. It's an ounce and a half. And then, you know, after back. so long, after doing it for so long, you just kind of know. You just know. Yeah. It's like any chef who says, you need a pinch of this and a pinch of that. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. just know what goes into there it. Next, we're going to add um, a ricotta ginger beer. A ricotta ginger beer? Ginger beer, yes. Okay. Ricotta is the brand. It is. Okay. Ginger ginger all right, all right. Go all the way to you the top. Your vodka, your ginger beer. Squeeze the lime squeeze in the there. Squeeze the lime first, yeah. and we're going to add a splash 
lime juice. Okay. All right. And then we garnish it with a lime. Lime. Got it. And of course, straws. Yeah. Little straw. A couple of straws. And what's that called again? This is a Michigan mule. A Michigan mule. There you go. You see that? All right. So. Test taste. <coughs> test taste. really good too. <laughs> this could be really bad. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, Michigan Mule. Michigan Mule. Okay, what's up? Alright, next we're going to do a really fun Aztec iced coffee. Ooh. And here we have a rim glass. We have a chipotle cinnamon rub. Oh yeah? Okay. I'm going to add the ice. I'd be just slamming ice in there. I'd be digging the thing in. Then we do a shot of espresso. Okay. A little more of that. And same with this, you're going to do an ounce and a half of Kahlua. Kahlua. Got it. Okay. There's the magic pour. All right. Espresso, Kahlua so far. Espresso, and then we're going to top it off with chocolate milk. <laughs> People order this a lot? Yes, it is very popular. It's one of our most popular breakfast is drinks. Really? Yeah. This is a breakfast drink. So, you know, you're yeah, up early, you're just not feeling like eggs, bacon, and stuff like this. <laughs> you got it right. We're going to go ahead and top it off with whipped cream. Okay. And, wow. Now, you you know, you could. And a little chocolate syrup. Oh, a chocolate syrup. You get to have the chocolate syrup. Okay. And now, there is a piece of work. Right here. Doesn't that look good? Here, I'll just give you a turntable look. It all looks the same on the other side. But if you I'm gonna mm. no, I haven't mixed that up yet, but that's really good. good? And that chipotle um, yeah. salty cinnamon, cinnamon mm -hmm. taste on the on the top is wonderful. It's really good. Kind of adds to it. It really adds to it. All right, last, we got four, or three, last but not least, in our Art of the Cocktail here at Sundance Grill, downtown Grand Rapids, at Pearl in Ottawa. Um, and this is Danielle. So, our final cocktail. Yes, we're going to be making a blood orange margarita. Blood orange margarita. I'm yes. repeating myself, aren't I? Very good. I'm repeating her. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to have a margarita glass salted with kosher salt. Okay. Again, fill it with ice. Okay. It looks pretty too. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. 
too. Isn't that good? Yeah. That's it's a really little good. tart, a little sweet from the puree. So people order these a lot. I mean, you can come in and just get, you know, pour me a shot or yeah. something, or give me a beer or a glass of wine. But having some of these, are cocktails, a liquor, really making a comeback? Are you, are you seeing more people drinking this? Yeah, yeah, most things? definitely. You know, sangrias were pretty popular, and they weren't so much. And then now we have a couple of sangrias that are really popular, and they sell really well. That's one of our most popular, and Moscow Mules always are pretty popular. Yeah, yeah. Um, we just kind of switched up and did a Michigan vodka with okay, that, so okay. a lot of people enjoy that. Um, rum chai latte, we kind of went for something that we could do for breakfast, and with adding the espresso, it's a perfect fit. Sure, perfect, yeah, absolutely. These are great. This is just four examples of things you could do. Part of the cocktail, fun to do at home too. I mean, you could really be a professional bartender, or better yet, have Danielle do it <laughs> at Sundance Grill. They'll look a lot better and they'll taste really good too. Thanks, Danielle. Thank you so much. There you go. Art of the cocktail.